There is this topic that's fantastic and it's important because what it does is it gets you, you can work with this element that's putting heartbreak into your acting. Now look, you have this important choice to make as an actor, as, a, as an artist. And I would suggest that you take the road to acting to want to become an artist first. That is, you're working through processes of being with your emotional life first before you go into the process of doing, which is the interaction of acting. Many people only take the road of looking at the interaction. So then what happens is they'll be in a situation where in their life they'll actually hit real heartbreak. Absolutely real heartbreak. They'll find out that there was something that they trusted in a relationship about somebody and it wasn't really the the proper thing or, or what they had agreed with the person on and they'll be in this situation where they'll be just this this thing. See, the, the component that we work on in every single day acting, which is the emotional activation component. It's this activation where all of a sudden we find something inside of ourselves and it clicks, right? Well, what happens with this whole thing with the heartbreak is that this heartbreak happens to us and all of a sudden we'll find out something about what's going on with, with our situations in life and something will literally click inside of us and we'll have this incredible heartbreak just flood. It will be an emotion. It will be something that will come through. It will be something that is not a fleeing feeling. It's not something that's even a deep feeling, although it could be a deep feeling. And then all of a sudden it will turn into an emotion, right? But what will happen here is this component of heartbreak. Oh my gosh, you know, like you could literally like, you've got this choice to make now if you've got this happening to you in life. And this is the discussion. The discussion is what to do with this because you've got the choice. Now, I'm, I'm here to tell you very clearly, I have seen a lot of work in acting, a lot of work, over 30,000 acting exercises and techniques with famous people and none. And the thing is, is that the reality to this is you have a choice to make. There are these programs that I use, and I use these programs to do these things like cartoons, to be able to accentuate, to, to, ex, to absolutely um, amplify the emotions that I go through. And when I go through emotions, first of all, I absolutely emotionally prepare, sometimes even before the videos, because I, I love emotional preparation. I love to be able to get myself upset about one thing, get myself upset about another, and then put that into some imaginary work. And these cartoons, there's links in the descriptions below, and they can absolutely, they can amplify those expressions that you can learn to be able to get with your talent. Okay, so feel free, use those links. You can make the choice to think that all you can do in life is ride out this thing called heartbreak, and then you can just literally continue to kind of ignore it and not really do anything and try and force your will to get through life without exploring it. Or you can become an artist. What does this mean, becoming an artist with heartbreak? Well, look, this is very simple. It's very simple. Does it take a little bit of courage? Yes, but it, mostly it just takes self-courage. So are you capable of looking at your heartbreak at being able to actually look at it and say, look, listen, how do we break this thing down? How do we, how do we work with this? We're not working at this to be able to get over the experience. That's not the point. The point is to be able to work with it as an artist. It will end up uh, helping you in many different ways because you'll be able to process the emotion, but it's not therapy. We're working on this uh, as an artist. We're, we're working at this as a creator. See, sometimes there's been times in history where people have had incredible, incredible experiences in life. And they have turned to various different things within themselves. And all of a sudden, something has, has they have made that choice that I'm describing right now, the choice within themselves to instead of being a victim to life in terms of, of only having the ability to look at life on the linear plane. 
they can actually then start to look at life and be able to use what actually happens in life, like heartbreak, to be able to actually then work with the fact that they know that something was just activated in them. And then work with it like talent. Work with it like an artist in acting. Now, what does an artist in acting do with heartbreak? Well, you want to write down the key components of what it is that you're feeling. It could be rageful, it could be uh, despair, it could be uh, regret, it could be uh, betrayal, it could be disbelief is a huge one, absolutely huge. So you're in a situation where you're caught with disbelief and heartbreak and it's a situation where you've got a choice to make. You, 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 can, you can work with this. Now, there's other materials that I'll be <clears throat> happy to mention. And <clears throat> the, the materials, just a moment. The materials that I would suggest is looking at this stuff with, um, now this is therapeutic materials, which is different than acting. But you could look at this where, you know, you're looking at being able to um, uh, father or mother your inner child. You want to look at the ability so that you're able to be like the, 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 the construct or you, you're looking to be able to work with the construct. So we're, we're looking at this to be able to extract the raw talent, right, from the broken heart. And the broken heart is something that you need to be able to, I mean, you might literally sit down, write down, and just write down the, the bullet point, it sucks. And then like an hour later, two hours later, you go back to your uh, uh, workbook and you could literally then like sit down and have like a couple points like, oh, I didn't trust this about the person, I didn't trust that about the person. Or, you know, you know, there was this thing that was imbalanced about the relationship or there was that thing that was imbalanced about the relationship. So you're starting to have this introspection. Now look, this, again, I'm not, I'm not talking about therapy. I'm talking about how to be able to turn heartbreak into artwork, into actual acting. Hi, I'm inviting you to actually join me live on the internet. And uh, if you would, you can bring your own emotional preparation. We can work on emotional preparation together and we can really hone down and help build out that talent with inside of you. Now even if all it is is you want to just bring an emotional preparation, do a spoon river, I don't mind. Come, join us, and absolutely practice the talent of your own acting. And the, the benefit and where we are at this point is instead of doing this in an emotional uh, preparation process where we're particularly isolating these components to then brainstorm what it is that we can activate, and then doing that emotional activation. We have uh, actually a situation that's a real time, live you know, circumstance in your life where you've got heartbreak. So you can choose to be, uh, you know, you could consider it to be like an adult artist, right? Or an adult actor, where you're like literally trying to then work with how you could put that element into, into solid expression, right? So you want to find those ingredients of which were off balance, which were of um, highlights. Sometimes they could be fantastic memories. You know, like when so-and-so, we went to this event and this thing happened and that thing happened and that was great. And then we met so-and-so, we went to their, to wherever and, and this was great and this was a lot of fun. You know, these are our, our highlights and that, that highlight Re recollecting that highlight as a heartbreak helps that whole construct so that you've got this stuff into focus, right? And then what you do with this work that, you're, that, that I'm describing you do, you work like this in a way that then you can isolate those small areas. So you, you need a really good, really good happy memory, then you go into a really good happy memory, but now you can add a part there was something that was bittersweet. See, bitterness is an ingredient for actors. Bittersweet is an incredible, it's an incredible saying. It's an incredible thing. Because it has to do with the ability to really highlight. That's another emotion. Having something be bittersweet. 
Well, look, there is not any, I mean, there is very, 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 very little um, work that's ever been done with the concept of bittersweet. This is what I'm trying to push with acting. I'm saying, look, this guy, we're not even doing the work of putting emotion in acting. We are, but we're only touching the surface of it. And now we have this incredible ability to be able to go so much further the next two decades. So what are we up to? Why are we not putting emotion in our work? Why are we not isolating these components for ourselves to be able to have this in our art? Now some people are, of course. But the more that we have people doing this within themselves, all of a sudden we can click. We can click as creative society, as, as an ability to be able to click this component. So as most people would go through this on a traditional level, they'd go through a heartbreak and they'd be told all this stuff about, you know, oh, you gotta see some therapist if, it, if, the, if the emotion gets deep enough. What are you talking about? Now, there's definitely times where it's healthy to go see and talk to somebody and that's great. And there might be moments like that. But look, if you work with this component as an actor, as an artist, you can literally get to the point where you can actually start to find talent. You might re-spark your entire acting career because you've been brave enough to be able to go and say, look, this was a heartbreak and we, we need to go into this heartbreak and we want, to, we want to work with what life served us, which is terrible stuff, it's a heartbreak, right? You work with what life served you and then all of a sudden you can isolate those components the way I mentioned it. Okay, so I teach people how to get upset. I have a lot of fun teaching people how to literally purposefully upset themselves actually waking their own activations up so that they're emotionally activated. There's something that they can get upset about within a ballpark of emotion. But the key, the absolute key, is I don't want you to carry around that stuff in your life. That's what's called acting baggage. You want to be able to learn a technique. I have to be able to tell you that it's, it would be a disservice for me to teach you all of these incredible techniques on how to access yourself as an artist without reminding you very nicely that you don't need your acting baggage in life. So feel free, work on processes where you have a release time after you're doing your acting. And what this will do is it will actually amplify your work because it will give your acting muscles the break that they need in order to get the rest that they need so that your work will be even stronger. Okay, thanks very much. Now, this is creative process, not therapy. This is creative process. So, what are the goals of this whole thing? The goals of this whole thing is to be able to work with what life has dealt you and then be able to dissect it enough to be able to put it into categories that then you, with your own willpower, with your own personal space, you can go into your own personal space and activate each one of those items that are the smaller thing. And now there might be several different things with this. There might be these breakdowns of this work you might have 30 or 40 or 50. If you've been in a relationship with somebody for a couple of years, it might be it might be extensive and it might you might be more and more stuff that comes out through the weeks of, of, of introspection, of being able to capture these things that you then can then turn into artistic expression. So the goal of this whole construct is <clears throat> you have this concept of neuroticness, right? You have neuroticness and there's this point in life where life deals you these neurotic circumstances where all of a sudden, literally, your neurons get hit and you're like, darn, and then all of a sudden the circumstance changes. So then all of a sudden your world changes and all of a sudden you're involved in a breakup and you don't even know why or you know why even if it wasn't your fault, you still have to deal with what it is, the, 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 the leftover remnants of that, of that aspect. So this is really how to turn lemons into lemonade for an actor. You want to be able to do this with whatever support systems you feel that you need and then you want to be able to get that element up so that then you can have that all of those feelings of life, 
all of those feelings that, that you've been able to isolate. And you want to then be able to be able to activate those whenever you need them for your work. Now, a couple last notes on this. First of all, if you would boop the like button, I would appreciate it. Uh, it's very, it's very good. Thank you very much for all your comp, comp, comments, compliments, and everything else. I appreciate it. And the thing is, is that look, this is the key. We're looking at being able to turn neurotic tendencies right into art. There's no clearer way to say what is artistry. We're looking to change what is neurotic. What would cause other people to go into neurotic frenzy? And we are actually then working with creative techniques, acting techniques, to be able to turn that around. So instead of going out into our neuroticism or being neurotic, we are actually able to actually empower ourselves from the circumstance of, in this case, is a broken heart. So we take that component of a broken heart and we do and we work with this to be able to then become empowered. So I hope that this helps you. Let me know in the comments section. Uh, send me a DM if you have to. Um, and um, you know, work on this com component because look, there is the, the biggest thing that I absolutely do not like in life at all. My bit one of my biggest pet peeves is wasted talent. And I have seen a lot of wasted talent. Listen, I have taught acting, I do teach acting, but I have seen a lot of acting and a lot of different teachers. And it's been sometimes very hard sometimes to, to realize, you know, I'll, I'll see a project of somebody or I'll see some, some element of something and I'll be like, man, I wish that these people just had a little bit more technique because they would have been able to get more into their work. So then, you know, now that's on me, right? Now that's on me to be able to try and provide that for people, right? So it's, it's a matter of being able to find these things that instead of having these experiences in life coil you up so that you don't have any um, expression with them, all of a sudden they become something that's an empowerment tool for you as an actor, for you as an artist. Okay, so... Um, uh, thanks for watching and, and I'll see you in the next one.